Welcome to Unique People Stories. What is the laziest thing you've ever done? Used to have one of those clap on, clap off lights in my room. I hated clapping so I just made an audio recording of me clapping and mapped it to one of the programmable keys on my keyboard. I always heat things in the microwave for 111 or 222 because I'm too lazy to move my fingers to the zero before I hit start. I have a dog and a cat. And I hate sleeping with the door open. Sometimes dog wants to sleep in the bedroom. Sometimes dog wants to sleep outside the bedroom. But he never decides until I'm comfy in bed. Solution. Keep a laser pointer on my nightstand. Once dog decides where he's sleeping. I'll shine the laser pointer on the door so that my cat paws it closed. It has now become a routine that my cat will wait by the door for the laser before laying down. I was laying in bed with the light on and wanted to go to sleep with it off. I called my house from my cell phone and asked for myself in a disguised voice. When my mom came in to bring me the phone I asked her to turn the light out when she left. Hung up both phones and went to sleep. I was once on a U.S. military ship. Having breakfast in the wardroom officer's lounge when the operations officer ops walks in. This guy was the definition of not a morning person. He's still half asleep. Bleary-eyed. Basically a zombie with a bagel. He sits down across from me to eat his bagel and is just barely conscious. My back is to the outboard side of the ship. And the morning sun is blazing in one of the portholes putting a big bright ass circle of light right on his barely conscious face. He's squinting and chewing and basically just remembering how to be alive for today. It's painful to watch. But then zombie ops stops chewing. Slowly picks up the phone. And dials the bridge. In his well-known I'm still totally asleep voice. He says hey. It's ops. Could you. Shift our bar pad. Yeah. 165. Thanks. And puts the phone down. And then he just sits there. Squinting. Waiting. And then. Ever so slowly. I realize that that big blazing spot of sun has begun to slide off the zombie's face and onto the wall behind him. After a moment it clears his face and he blinks slowly a few times and the brilliant beauty of what I've just witnessed begins to overwhelm me. By ordering the bridge to adjust the ship's back and forth patrol by about 15 degrees. He's changed our course just enough to reposition the sun off of his face. He's literally just redirected thousands of tons of steel and hundreds of people so that he could get the sun out of his eyes while he eats his bagel. I am in awe. He slowly picks up his bagel and for a moment I'm terrified at the thought that his own genius may escape him. That he may never appreciate the epic brilliance of his laziness since he's not going to wake up for another hour. But between his next bites he pauses. Looks at me. And gives me the faintest. Sly grin. Before returning to gnaw slowly on his zombie bagel. In order to not walk five feet to my bed. I decided to fall asleep on my recliner. Pulling down the window shade a little extra. So I could use it as a blanket. Shot about ten nerf darts at my light switch. From bed. Missed all of them and slept with the lights on. My roommate and I arranged our dorm room to be lazy capable. One person was able to reach the mini fridge and light switch from her bed. And the other could reach the the window and AC heat from her bed. We never fought again. Spent a half hour searching for a torrent to download a textbook that I had left in another room. Had the pizza guy deliver a pizza. I lived above the pizzeria. Roommate was on the other side of the apartment. Maybe 20 feet away. And we're both using our computers. Sent him an instant message to find out what he was doing and if he wanted to go grab some lunch. Came home and tripped in the doorway. Falling flat on the floor. I kicked the door shut with my foot and fell asleep for three hours. Slept on the floor for a year instead of putting together my assembly bed. I was drunk one night and decided the bathroom was too far away. So I pissed in my cat's litter box. Didn't feel like cleaning it up in the morning so I just threw the whole litter box in the garbage. I downloaded a movie instead of going upstairs to grab the DVD. I didn't want to get up to get scissors to open a package I had. So I grabbed the cat and used his claws. It was soft plastic and the cat was indifferent. Eating my food directly from the pot to eliminate dishes. I hate washing dishes. 
I tried to skip to the good part of a 33-second YouTube video. I ran out of clean bowls for cereal. So I lined the bowls with foil over the old food and made a bowl of cereal. After that I threw away the foil and did it again the next day. In college, we hooked up those hamster water bottles to our headboards with a wire so that we could drink from them when hungover. It enabled us to just open our mouth instead of having to move any other part of our body. We didn't get much water out of it. Called the restaurant to send the waiter back to my table. I was in a class called OJT on the job training in high school. Every day the last 25% of school was dedicated to me being able to leave class to go to work. We were given grades by our employers which would then turn into grades for the class. As a high school senior I convinced the teacher that oversaw this program that because I had my own corporation that I used to sell stuff on eBay I should be able to be my own boss. She agreed. I failed that class because I didn't bother to fill out the paperwork to give myself a grade. When I was a senior in high school, I was sentenced to 80 hours of community service for something a friend did. I was considered an accomplice. So I showed the paperwork to the front office staff in charge of attendance and told them I would need to be excused from school at 11 a.m. every day until I finish this. So they put in an exception on me, which allowed me to sign myself out of the school every day at 11 a.m. They just told me to let them know when I finished with it. I never did. I finished the hours in three weeks and the rest of the school year checked myself out at 11. My roommate in college went home for a three-day weekend. And I stayed in bed the entire time. I got up twice to pee. And brought four bags of sour cream and onion potato chips to bed with me. She walked in on Monday at 9 p.m. Laughed so hard she cried. And forced me to get in the shower. When I was in college I ordered pizza for delivery because I wanted cigarettes and asked if there was a driver there that would pick me up some cigs for an extra $10 on top of his normal tip. We had a Circle K next door to my apartment complex I could see from my window. The cigs cost me $33. TV remote was two feet out of reach. So I downloaded the remote control app instead. Eating a microwavable meal in bed. I got it all over. I then took off my sock to use as a napkin. Threw a shoe to knock over the cat food bag so I didn't have to go all the way into the garage to open it and dump it into the bowl. A buddy of mine was laying in bed one morning. Picked his nose and had nowhere to put it, put it back in his nose. Attached my dog's leash to my RC monster truck car and walked her around the cul-de-sac with it. All from the comfort of my living room. Drove to class. Escalators up to third floor classroom were broken. Went home. Faked mono for four months so I wouldn't have to do anything. My TV was on my dresser and I didn't have a remote. I had turned off Netflix in an effort to go to bed. I decided a few minutes later that sleep is for the week and decided for more Netflix. I never got up to turn my TV back on though. I watched hours of Netflix on my tiny phone to avoid getting up for five seconds. Thank you for listening. What was the last thing that you were too lazy to do?